whenever I turn the vehicle on and the uh, uh, the antenna is supposed to go and uh, up but now it stays only in the up position so when you turn the vehicle off it's supposed to uh, retract and then when you turn the vehicle back on it's supposed to go up but this is the position it stays in what I, w I was doing is uh, I turned the vehicle on and off several times to uh, see if the uh, antenna would go down, but it did not do that. The fact that when I turn the v the this thing it stays up, it means that uh, something is wrong. The uh, as you can hear the uh, the motor it's fine because many years ago I opened it and I opened this and looked at the motor. The motor is fine, so I'm going to uh, take this apart to see maybe what what may be wrong with it. You got here. Mm -hmm. You got to turn this. Okay. And then go up. And get that out. Okay. And then you got that little rubber. And that's to prevent water from going down there. Okay. And then, and then you got to pull the antenna. So, and this is it. So, see this whole thing comes up. So it appears that th uh, there's not a good connection. This part here is not connected uh, to the uh, motor. So when the motor uh, turns on, it doesn't push it up. Or when it turns off, then it doesn't go all the way down. So the problem is either it's probably here into the uh, the motor. So I just need to uh, mess with it and see what the problem is. First, let me see if I can see what's going on down there. I will need a smaller flashlight. Now, le let me see if I can get this uh, down ba back in there and then try to align it. Again, as you can see, there are some clamps here. This part, it, it, because this vehicle, it's, uh, it's a uh, 1993. So everything is old. So it's possible the uh, it lost, doesn't have a good grip. some water because it was raining after I uh, messed with it for a while I went and uh, turned on the ignition to see if the antenna would go down ah look at that look at that Okay, turn the radio on. Now, as you, you see, this is the first time. So he went, uh, it goes back up. Okay, so it's just a connection. It's, yeah, that's what it is. The motor is fine. It's just this thing is old and then there's not a good grip. So I see, you see how I mess with it. See? So, it means a good grip. So, thing is, uh, if you are, uh, it is a uh, very troublesome. It's very troublesome to uh, 
to replace the whole system. Here's what would happen. If you want to replace this whole system, you'll have to take a... You see here? here let me show you. You will need to uh, take this old panel off. See here? This panel. Take that off the side. Okay? Take that off okay all the way down so you can get to the uh to the antenna to the antenna down here and that's too much work the fact that the the motor is fine it's just the uh just not getting a good uh a good connection so now let me go ahead and oh there we go ah there we go you see you see can you see this now? I knew it. I knew it. So I managed to get this up. Because that's the uh that's the one. That's plastic and, and from the uh from the motor and it goes up, goes up, and it'll go back down. And that's how we put we managed to pull it down. You see? You see? see, see this? Earlier we didn't have that, so it is it is part of this here. You see? So and so this see, goes down. So we had this. This. Okay. Now, now the beauty about it st uh, staying in the up position is because you uh, are able to uh, listen to the radio. Because if it stays in, then no radio. Okay, so that's the good thing. Okay, so it still wouldn't uh, go down. So I remove this, and then I just not. Take this out, and then you can see it wasn't the uh, the spring was not attached. So what does it mean? It means that it, it's a uh, it's in an off position, but for some reason it was just not holding it. That's the uh, that's the spring. See, see what I did. I turned this. I turned. It. I turned it. See, as you make it go in. See, as you turn this in, then it goes in. See, when you pull this, see that will go in and then roll in the motor. That turn it in the motor. So. Hmm. Does that mean that this broke? It's possible this thing broke. Because I don't know, I don't, I do not know the structure of this in the motor. Because I would have to take the motor out to know that. The fact that this one comes out loose, maybe it just, it, uh, it broke. But you see, this is how it was supposed to work. See, push out and then in. See, the out and okay.
I think this broke. I will just, ouch. I hit my head here. I'm going to do some, uh, some research and see how this is connected to the motor. And if in fact, this is supposed to be connected directly to the motor, it cannot, it cannot come loose, then I will have to replace the whole thing and take it out. Okay? But right now, let's see if I can, uh, if I can put this back in. Mm, I guess not. All right, now let me go ahead and, uh, again, it's already in the up position. So uh, let me turn it on and off and see if it'll bring it down. Ah, see, now it's in the off, it's in the off position. See, it's off, so it's down. Okay, it's off. Ah, so, you know, let's leave it like this. Let's leave it like this. I'm not going to mess with it any for anymore. Let's leave it like this. So let's call this a fix. <laughs> but anyway, if it's acting up again, then I will have no choice but uh, taking the whole thing apart and then replace the motor or the spring, okay? But right now, the motor is fine. It's just not uh, getting a good connection. Again, let's call this a fix. Please, subscribe. I need uh, a thousand subscribers, okay? I need a thousand subscribers. There are a lot more work to do here, but I need more subscribers to uh, to uh, kind of give me uh, energy to do more work, okay? Thanks for watching.